ever so beautiful Campeche. Typical Hillary. The colors, it right off the bat has the wow factor. We'll, we'll give you some history about the city here in a minute, but wow! First, first, first impressions. Very colorful, very clean, very beautiful, charming. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for a good reason. For a very good reason. It was. First time here, we are Dos Extranjeros, two foreigners, Dos Gringos that are living in Mexico. I'm Greg. And Hillary. And we are the Kinetic Kinetics. <laughs> A little more dramatized than I expected. We're, but... we're usually just as cheesy as that sounds, exactly. We just left Merida this morning, actually, and we have been traveling Mexico for around two years yep. trying to get to know this country. It's an incredibly beautiful country. First day here on, in Campeche in we have found another another diamond in the rough, if you will. Yeah, I had we had no expectations, which is normal for us. We're not good planners, if you should know one thing about us. <laughs> and this city has been super surprising. So far, so far we have a lot to learn, a lot to see. Yes. And Come along, <laughs> and a lot to eat. Come along with us as we get to know this beautiful city, all the colors. We've got a malecon behind us here, the mar, the gulf. A couple oh, forts to check a couple out. Couple forts. This is a walled city. It's a fortified city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smell that salty air. Ah. <laughs> Feels good to be one with the ocean again. Uh, it really does. <laughs> ah, we uh. are weird people. say founded obviously it was it was not really it was founded by the Spanish it was built upon the Mayan city of Ganbech Ganbech which is super close to Campeche really obviously is, yeah. another fun fact everybody's gonna comment on the way you just said Gampeche. 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 I'm sorry. Gampeche. Gampeche. <laughs> I have deemed it Campeon Campeche. Oh, we've got the nickname. Uh, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is incredibly beautiful. The 
Spanish built a, or they built, uh, they fortified this city. They built walls around the city, and you can especially see it here in Centro Historico. And over the next day or two, we're going to visit yeah. some of the different forts. Basically, the city was being attacked by different groups of pirates. pirates. It's truly incredible. It really reminds me yeah. a lot of old San Juan in, in Puerto Rico. I think so too. I think because that's probably the only fortified colonial city on the water that we've been to. <laughs> yeah, it's not, you don't see these every day. It has a population of around 250,000 people, so it's actually one of the smaller cities in terms of like big cities that we visited, around yeah. the same size as, as Vallarta. It's a pueblito yeah. for here in Mexico. What makes Campeche unique and different from other places we we have visited. We know it's beautiful, we know it's colorful, we know it's charming, yeah. and that's, uh, like as crazy as it is, that's almost too cliche, that's not saying enough. So what right. makes it different from other places that we visited? Um, we've never been to a colonial city on the water, much less a fortified colonial city on the water Very in true. Mexico. Um, I had no idea it would be this charming. And the closest thing I can compare it to is the streets of Guanajuato. The streets are pretty yes. narrow, a lot of times just, just room for one car to pass through. Uh, the streets seem to be a bit straighter here. I remember them mm -hmm. being a bit more windy. Right. But the buildings themselves are beautiful. Everything is so brightly colored. That alone, I think, sets it apart from other places um, with not much color. It is, and I know in trying to say how it's unique, I'm comparing it to another place. To me, uh, Hillary was getting there. I think it's like the the Guanajuato, Guanajuato del Mar, of the sea. Okay. Guanajuato of the sea. It's it's colorful. It doesn't have the mountains. It's 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 a much different feel. But yeah. it does have the festive feel. There's drink specials. There's micheladas. There's outdoor patio seating. But it, it also doesn't have the crowds that come to Guanajuato. Now, while Guanajuato is a very small town, it is often packed with tourists. That's Here true. Here it feels a lot more low key. we have yet to explore here in Campeche. What, uh, what are your final first impressions of this beautiful city? I think a few weeks ago, a few short weeks ago, we explored Morelia and I was completely blown away. And I feel like for the second time in under a month, once again, I am completely blown away. This place, this place rivals some of the better places now it gets a B minus for weather, <laughs> but other than the weather, I think we didn't mention yet that the people here are very kind, particularly drivers and uh, drivers as pedestrians, the drivers yes. seem very friendly, as well as both taxi drivers we've had have been very friendly as well. So uh, an A plus to the people, B minus on the weather. <laughs> I could not have said it better, but what a is the best all the time. So, uh, <laughs> the only thing I'll add, just to just to frustrate everybody, uh, is I think Campeche. This is how I don't know if I'm a millennial or not. I don't know when millennial and like the next one is, but it sounds super millennial. I feel like it's like the most Instagrammable city. It really, it is super picturesque. Picturesque. That's here. yeah. That's how you said it before 2015. All right, amigos. This place is beautiful. Mexico is beautiful. Thank you for helping us share yes. the beauty of Mexico with the world. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. And we will see you guys. My name is This day. Campeón Campeche. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. But we're filming that video today. Whoa. <laughs> My end blowing. <laughs> okay.